Hello everybody and welcome to the first Let's Play of this channel. This is going to be Super Mario Galaxy. What a great way to start off this challenge with my favorite Mario adventure of all, which is, well, as I said, Super Mario Galaxy. I have been on YouTube before but didn't have much success so I took a break. But now, I'm back here doing some more stuff, so here's hoping things all good. And that's where you guys come into play. Let me know throughout comments about this series and see if the video quality is good, if my commentary is good, and if there's any changes that need to be done, or, hey, if I'm awesome right out of the box. That's always a pleasant surprise, hey? So I say let's just hop right in and begin the adventure as we go along. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The Toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the Night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. What it is that she's gonna give us? I don't know. I hope it's good. Maybe it can finally be that piece of cake that she offered us all those years ago, but never bothered to give us that. Which, by the case of when this game came out, probably about like uh, 11 years ago, considering the fact Mario 64 came out in 96, and this game came out in uh, 07, I think. And sorry for that racket there. Something just like was buzzing around on my microphone. So yeah, as you can see, um, this game is gorgeous, and I uh, absolutely love it. I'm also going to be honest with you, this is probably the third time that I'm trying to retake this series because, well, I've just been having some issues with my qual with my volumes and my audios and all that, so here's just hoping that everything just all goes nice and dandy. But speaking of nice and dandy, that view, that view sure is nice and dandy right here. I will go over controls of how this game works later on, but uh, for now... Let's just take in this nice view, and look at all the toes just having a great time. It's a star festival! It's supposed to be fun and having a great time. I don't think there's anything in the world that can stop this magical occasion from being crashed. Man, I really need to close my big mouth saying that nothing bad could ever possibly happen. We're all so trapped, we can't go back to that nice view. Oh, what a shame. Oh, <laughs> these toes are just falling all over the place. They're just like, my buddy's trapped! Ah! Don't worry, we'll try to help you any way that we can. And some of the toads are being stuck in icicles. I don't know how that's even possible, but hey, we're gonna try to figure it out. 
But right now, the princess is in trouble. She can help bring order to the toads. I'm coming, princess! Love me! Am I dead? Because it feels like hell already. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! And when I say hell, I mean the bunnies! It's telling us to jump with B, but you can also press it with A if you want to, but I think the B sounds the more comfortable with how the Joy-Cons are, but let's just go ahead and move around and close to these MORE BUNNIES! Let's play hide and seek! If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. I'll more so tell you more than that. Alright, so Mario Galaxy is basically a 3D platformer that's a gravity-based platformer, all things considered. And we just gotta go ahead and find these three bunnies. It's a very nice change to the Mario series, and I wish something like this came back more often. But, hey, I guess it was exclusive to the Wii game, so... I, well, I guess I'll take what I can get. Uh, I knew I should have hit in the crater, so I gotta go ahead and find the crater. Not this crater, though, but... Oh, I guess it is this crater, never mind. <laughs> uh, so I gotta go ahead and collect this bunny over here. Uh, as you can also see with how high quality this video is, or the resolution of this game is, is that this is being played on the Switch. This is from Super Mario 3D's All-Stars, which this game was a part of. And now no one can ever buy anymore because of the fact that it only was on sale for like three months. So I got a rare copy! Yay! In some cases, so maybe I hold on to it, it'll be thousands and thousands of dollars. Who would have thought? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, I was already in the crater there. Never mind. Uh, he's telling us that we need to go into the pipe anyways. I don't know why I went into a giant circle there, but let's go ahead and check the pipe. And go through the pipe on the other side. I don't know how it's even possible, but hey, we get to go ahead and catch this bunny. And there we go. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Yeah, I know, me neither. <laughs> wow, you call all of us. Maybe you really can help Mama. Mama? Who is this Mama? I hope she's a hot tamale if I do say so myself. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't know. I'm just being weird. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and find out who this Mama is on top of this castle-like place, and... I already want you to be my Mommy. Can I change moms? No, I'm kidding. I would never do that. You shouldn't either. 
I have been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. The Final Frontier! Du, 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 du. Mario's eyes was white. Maybe it's just because of the glow of Rosalina? I don't know. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. That sounds like a terrible idea, but hey, whatever. Always trust the fat Italian plumber. Because if you do, you will give him the ability to spin with the Joy-Con or also spin with Y. Disaster has struck us, just as, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. I want your stars to shine down on me. Okay, what? This is getting weird. Bye, Rosa John. <laughs> if you guys get that reference, I will applaud you. Okay, so this little bit here is going to tell us about uh, shaking or pressing buttons in order to spin attack. You just have to shake your right Joy-Con, or your left one, but the right one seems to be the most viable one. And upon doing so, you can spin attack and break things, such as this. And push! And by doing so, we get access to the... Launch Star, which is, I was about to say, Mr. Luma, but saying there are lots of galaxies for us to explore. Well, let's go ahead and explore them, even though this is just a simple planetoid, but whatever. Alright, so I guess our adventure really begins here. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a Launch Star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the Star Chips to fix it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. No, that sounds like a fun time to be in. I think I would love to go down into a black hole and experience forgetification, right? That sounds like a great thing. Alright, we got these tiny Goombas that only spell out coins, but the bigger Goombas actually spell out coins and star bits, depending on how you take them out. So I just gotta go ahead around this little planetoid to collect all these star chips and avoid the black holes. I find that using the Y button in this game is actually the best solution for doing spin attacks, because... I don't think it renders spin attacks as good as it probably should, so the Y button works just as fine. Let's go ahead and head up onto this launch star and onto the next set of planetoids. By the way, you see those airships that are hovering around? Uh, you cannot get onto those. I know, real shame. Uh, there's a Luma trap there, so we got- Oh, hey there, buddy boy. Excuse me, I want to hop onto your butt. Or your head. Or your head butt. I don't know which one it is, but hey, it's your own, right? Uh, there is a Goomba around here, a big Goomba. Nope, not you. Shouldn't there have been, like, a bigger Goomba somewhere around here? Oh, I probably have to talk to this person first in order for that uh, Goomba to actually appear. Maybe? Aha, there you are. Because you were nowhere around when I was looking around, but hey, whatever. Anyways, I got the key needed to free the Luma, and... It's free! I'm free! And it tastes like... Chicken? Interesting. Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just uh, jump into me after I... Transform! That was weird wording, but... You know what? I am all for it. Okay, so now we got another Luma that's stuck in there. So now we have to find... Oh, hey, that's a big boy. To defeat big Goombas, hit this... And they'll flip all the way up. And then they'll immediately vaporize into a key. Get the key, get the key, get the beautiful key. I hear my dog growling just like I get up, but I'm not in the position to do that right now, considering the fact that I'm recording, you silly little doggo. I'll get you to Wow, he is really growling, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's just go ahead and head over here. Harry, down here! Alright, down to the Walmart warp pipe we go. And now we are inside the building. We've been waiting for you. Harvest his bodies! What? That's a Grand Star. We have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. I have no idea what it is, but we gotta stop it before the Grand Star's power is drained. So all we had to do for this one is not only just avoid these uh, Snickers bars of death, but also to, 
to like, ow, excuse me, Snickers bars of death, how dare you? Actually, no, you're a whole bunch of bars, so I'm thinking you're the Twix bar of death, never mind. Hit all these yellow switches into blue, and then you'll be good to go. Do, 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 do. Alright, and done. All right, if you get too close to that Luma, it will tell you to actually flip the switches to yellow so that it can turn green. But I didn't have to do that. Nanny nanny boo boo, nanny nanny boo boo. Thank you. Now go save that grand star. You got a grand star. So that grand star gets added to our accounts as well as adding a whole bunch of star bits and coins. And look at that, we unlocked a new galaxy. Nice. The bacon is lit again. Okay, it's actually beacon, but it kind of looks like bacon, doesn't it? It shines weakly. Maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the grand star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. You see, we traveled the starry skies. We passed by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source, power stars. Our ship has lost power so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. I have a request. I'll let her say please, I guess. At least she's saying please. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. While your dog is growling, there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship that perhaps we could pursue the thieves who ran off with the Power Stars. And Princess Peach, don't forget about that, asking us to save, you bet your biscuits I will. Hey, that's a bad thing, I don't know. Okay, so that is going to be it for this episode here, or video, or whichever one you want to call it. Our next mission is to head over to the Terrace, which we're going to be doing in the next part. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, we're going to be heading into the Terrace to see what galaxy we've uncovered there. Let me know in the comments what you think of the quality of this video. I don't know. Hopefully, I did some testings on this and made sure that everything's all good and ready to go. Of course, I'm going to be making some more videos of this afterwards. So, just let me know what you think. Anyways, uh, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time for more Super Mario Galaxy. See ya!